Yeah, we see the future of uh, uh, our electronics is going to be changing, and it's also going to be changing our lives. Uh, uh, currently, we all have a cell phone we uh, hold and uh, take it everywhere, uh, but we imagine in the future, uh, 15 years or 20 years from now, uh, the function of uh, the uh, cell phone is going to dissolve into what we wear, what we attach to our skin, and uh, what's implanted in the body. Uh, so this is a completely new um, direction, but uh, we are very excited. We think that's something that's going to happen in a not too far future. Definitely, I think uh, chemists uh, will play a critical role in this because um, the kind of materials uh, that will go into such future electronics, uh, which we call skin-inspired electronics, because they will mimic the uh, properties of human skin so that uh, such new electronics uh, can interface uh, seamlessly with human body. So that means uh, we need a new type of electronic materials, and then in order to to come up with uh, these materials, we need to use chemistry to come up with a new molecular design concepts, as well as uh, to be able to make such new materials. Since I was uh, a graduate student and uh, later on after I started my own independent career, I found that it was uh, incredibly inspiring and also rewarding working with people from other disciplines. That uh, uh, gives me new ideas, uh, new inspirations, and also make the um, uh, work we do more impactful so that we not only make the molecules, but we actually can show uh, the functions and the, the properties uh, these molecules are intended for in the setting that we design them for. Uh, my favorite chemical reaction is a uh, stimmy coupling reaction. That was uh, a reaction that um, uh, I investigated when I was a PhD student. At that time, it was the first time it was used uh, to make conjugated polymers. Uh, remember, this is uh, uh, more than 20 years ago. Uh, conjugated polymers uh, was still at the starting point, um, but now still coupling reaction is used so widely in making conjugated polymers uh, and it's still one of the most effective ones uh, that we use uh, all the time to uh, make our electronic materials. I would say, uh, looking back um, uh, with my own experience, I would encourage young chemists uh, to um, uh, dare to step out of their comfort zone uh, because uh, trained as a chemist, uh, we're always more comfortable with uh, talking the chemistry language or uh, with uh, using chemistry to uh, make molecules. But if we try to step out of uh, this comfort zone, just to reach out a little bit to other adjacent fields, then there's this whole enormous uh, new uh, possibilities uh, that chemistry can be applied to solve uh, interesting new problems. Uh, so I encourage young people to really uh, dare to step out of this um, uh, comfort zone, and then there will be lots of new discoveries.